a typical CFA question would usually usually ask you, oh, if prices are going up or um, if inventory is increasing and your firm is using a FIFO, what's going to happen to um, the cost of goods sold on the financial statement or the, perhaps the, the gross profit? So this is the first thing you usually um, should do um, at the beginning, let's say the first five minutes of the, of the exam. So you draw like a quick arrow here and you label L. F, so this is live O and five O, and it's just like how you, um, just like a time arrow. So the next thing you have to know or you do is remember L, H, L, L, okay. And the second thing you have to remember is something called C G I. Um, it means many things, um, but. In terms of here, just just remember this is something called computer graphic, um, computer generated imagery, um, something like that. Uh, but it should be sounds very familiar to you. Um, so you put C, G, I, and they represent the cost of goods sold, um, gross profit, and I is inventory and of course everything in in life is like um, symmetrical so there's like a mirror here so if this is high this is L if this is low this is H if this is low this is H okay um, so this is the same thing here C G and I um, so all you have to do is just fill in Kind of fill in the blank. You don't have to do it on the other side. But so now you have a very you can visualize how to answer those problem when, when you are when you when you see them see them on the exam. Um, so if the questions say, okay, if the prices is going up, okay, um, and your firm is using Vivo, what happened to the um, the, the the gross profit on the financial statement at, at year end? Then you know that it's going to be higher than using LIFO, okay? So same thing, if you know the price is going up or some kind of inflation makes the price go, um, goes up and your firm is using LIFO accounting, um, is the inventory um, at year end on the balance sheet on the asset side, is it gonna be um, higher or lower than, higher or lower the same, usually that's how they ask you, higher or lower the same than if your firm is using FIFO then you just like look at this, okay, it's low, so it's low inventory. So this is a very quick way of um, um, answering and getting some easy points on the exam. So hopefully you remember, you know, L, F, that's it. And then H, L, L, C, G, I. And you make another um, horizontal bar. Um, let me make sure that you can see it uh, on the screen. And mirror image, L, H, H. Okay, so this is literally the only thing you have to know about FIFO and LIFO um, on the CFA1 exam. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. And I'll be posting more video about um, this kind of technique, um, how to pass level one. So if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.